I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some short tricks to solve or answer multiple choice questions. Here's the one based on radicals. Write an expression equivalent to square root of 5 plus 2 square root 6. Now I'll solve this using a trick and then we'll talk about logic. Now that will help you to really understand and apply the trick when required. So the trick here is that when you have this kind of uh, expression, think about sum and product. We are looking for sum of two numbers to be 5. Let the two numbers be p and q. So say p plus q equals to 5. And we want the product of p and q as the term within the square root, which is 6. So once you think about it, you know a very simple combination. 3 and 2, right? 3 times 2 is 6 and 3 plus 2 is 5. In between, we have this operation, which is plus. So the answer combines square root of 3 and 2 with plus and it is C. So if you know the trick, in a second you can actually get the answer. Now let's talk about logic. What is a plus b whole square equals to? It is a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? This is a very standard formula. Now we are working with radicals. So let's look into something like square root of a plus square root of b, right? Whole square. Since these are all square root terms, right? So instead of a plus b whole square, let's look into this term. So it is square of square root a, right? Plus 2 times square root a times square root b plus square of square root b, which is what? Which is a plus 2 square root a times b plus b. Now, this can be rearranged, right? So, so what we really get here is square root of A plus square root of B whole square is equal to, you could write this as A plus B plus twice square root of AB. So this is the sum part. And that is the product. Do you get an idea, right? Now what you see in the question is basically all these things in the square root. So if I do square root of all this, then what I get is square root of this. Does it look familiar? The square square root is positive of what you see, right? So this could be written as, now if I do that, then I could write this as equal to square and square root cancel, right? So what I have here is square root A plus square root B. So that gives you the solution which we just saw. So I hope the concept is absolutely clear. The objective here to show you in different ways is only to get the idea registered in your mind. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Now, let's take a test question based on what we have learned just to see if you can really apply this trick. Now, here is your test question. See for yourself how much time it takes to answer this particular question. You can now pause the video, answer and then look into my suggestions. What do we need? From here, we know this sign is negative. So we need something negative in the center, correct? Now, 
in this case we are looking for product of two numbers and that is sum right this is p plus q and this is p times q how do you get 42 and 13 6 times 7 right 6 times 7 and 6 plus 7 gives you the answer so the answer should have been 7 is a bigger number so square root 7 minus square root 6 since this is negative so option B is the right option so you don't need even a calculator even a pen to do these calculations at times these questions can be solved using mental mathematics. I hope that makes sense. So if you really like and subscribe to my videos, you can see many more tricks and simplifications. Look into our playlist on simplification and short tricks to solve multiple choice questions. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. All the best.